Hey guys, we're back and uh, we're fixing to paint this little Santa. And uh, you see, this is the unfinished one right here. Uh, now, this is the one we just, uh, I actually carved on the video, but I carved this separate one and he's already been uh, sealed in linseed oil. And uh, uh, what I'm fixing to do is just go, he, he did dry probably about a week. I let my linseed oil dry uh, a, a considerable amount of time. But with that, I'm going to put this down right here, and then we're going to start mixing my paint. So uh, you can use any kind of paint. This is a bright red made by uh, Apple Barrel uh, Colors. Uh, I use all kinds of uh, uh, paints. It, it depends on what the price is where where I get them at. But I put a few a few drops in just like that. That's my red, and then I'm going to show you how I, I put my water in. That's one, two, three, four. So I really make this a wash. And then I'll put my, and as you look here, I've got an assortment of brushes. Uh, I've got two paint uh, uh, thinner, uh, pens or palettes rather and I'm going to mix this paint up right here and this is a, a, a wash consistency it's very light now I'm going to dry this brush out here and I'm going to get a smaller brush on, on a smaller carving like this I use a brush, uh, I don't, that's a number two brush right here. But I'm gonna go in and start painting the red. And we'll just start right up here with the, with the cap. And by the way, that was a, a bright red. And uh, when I uh, paint, I like to paint real thin. I like my colors to, uh, I mean my grain of my wood to show through. And sometimes it looks like it's not a enough, but when you actually get it finished, it looks it really looks good. And then then you can go in and add another coat, um, like that right there. And this is just the way I want it to look. It's enough color for me. And you just be careful not to run into your other parts of your carving and you want to uh, when you dip your brush uh, you might want to take a little bit out but but that right there you can still see the grain on, on the wood there now I'm going to come in here and I'm going to start painting this coat And I know, I, I like, like, once again, I like a real thin wash. Just enough to make it almost just look uh, like it's stained. Now, when I first started carving, I would really paint my carvings thick. And, um, I... I I, as I went around and looked at other carvings uh, at places, I saw that they weren't near as thick as what mine were. But, and then uh, on this, you could go in and you could add another coat of paint as it dries. And I, and I and I seal it with uh, uh, linseed oil. It it doesn't want to bleed through. Most of the time, it doesn't want to bleed through to another area when you seal it. Can you see that? All right, there, Peyton. Yep. 
we're in a whole different atmosphere. We're in our, my kitchen painting, and uh, uh, this is where I do all my painting anyway, here at the kitchen table. But you just go in and you follow your coat area. And you and you got to be careful loading loading your brush with paint. You don't want to load it too heavy. If you do, you need to let some of it out. But You can already see the red coming through there. Can't you see that painting on there? Yeah. The red bleeding through there. Now we got we got the pant legs to do. They come in right here. And start painting these. Now uh, I didn't bring it out with me, but uh, generally I uh, when I'm painting I bring in a hair dryer. And I, I'll, uh, I'll uh, when I finish uh, one coat, I, I, if I look like I need another one, I'll dry it with a hairbrush. Or some of the times you can just go to another area, and by the time you get finished with the other area, it's dry enough to put another coat on. But I really think thin on these. I have a lot of people ask me how do I get my finishes that way. Well, this is because I, I put a light stain on. Now, when I get the white, I'm gonna, uh, right now I'm going to go in and I'm going to paint these uh, boots. I'm going to paint them a little uh, black. And uh, let's see, I'm going to set this right here. You can kind of look in on that painting. And, uh, I'm going to go ahead and mix my black color, and let me see, all right, let me back off there, Peyton. This is a, a ceramic coat, uh, and uh, like once again, I, I buy paints that that are uh, on sale. A lot of times you go to Hobby Lobby, Michaels, and you can get them uh, on sale price but see that's just a little bit of paint and and these are the the uh they're, they're just are the liquid paints and uh they uh I, I used to do use the tube and and i don't i don't care for the tube anymore now and i don't like a real dark black i mean some people uh, would suggest uh, you needs to be blacker, but not uh, that's not the way I I finish mine. And if you look on my when I paint this paper here, it's just a really it's just almost like a watercolor. And you want to go in, you want to make sure all your your paint is uh, mixed up in there. All right, I'm ready to start painting these boots, so I'm going to come in here, and I'm going to work right across the top here, and start painting these boots. And as you see, this is not a real dark black. I just want a dark color to to show that this is a black. I don't want the real thick black. Now there in some occasions that I may want a, a a a thicker black and if I do I'll just go and add a, a little bit more paint or I'll go over and add more color. And as you see, uh, this is the uh, the black, and it's not bleeding in to the the other uh, C 
section of my carving. And I got to get, I'll use a little bitty brush on this one too. And as I put my final finish on, I won't do it here, but uh, after I finish painting, I go in with a, a Minwax uh, 209 clear wood sealer. It's called Natural. And I'll, uh, after this is completely dry, I'll put about three coats of that on. And I put it on, and uh, one coat on, and I let it sit for about 15 minutes. And then I'll wipe off the excess. And then I'll repeat the same procedure about three times. Sometimes four. And I like these little colors, these these real subtle colors, because uh, uh, it, it you can just see the wood grain through there. And if you're familiar with some of the Hummel uh, ceramic uh, pieces, uh, they do a light painting on theirs, and I really like that. But but you see, that's dark enough. Can you see that all right, Peyton, on that? Yeah. Okay, and see, while I've painted that, uh, this red has a, had a chance to dry a little bit. But uh, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to go down and and I'm going to paint the base of this. And uh, uh, just right around here, not up in these carved marks, I, I want this to look like the natural wood. And, and this right here, the base to be uh, like a burnt sienna. And I, here it is, the, and this is a deco art right here by Americano, and it's burnt sienna. And I'll shake it up a little bit, and then we'll go in and put you a couple of drops, maybe three drops, just about like that. And uh, then I'll take my little dipper and I'll come in and I'll make me another wash. Two, three, probably four. And I bring, I, I bring the, I put water in it about right up to here. And it says a quarter of a teaspoon. So I do about three of those. Uh, right at, it, it doesn't necessarily have to be that. Now I'm going to go in, I'm going to take a bigger brush to do this. And mix this up. How much, what are we doing on time there, Peyton? Mm, got about seven minutes. Oh, okay, well, we may go over on it a little bit. Okay, when I get this, you see it's a light brown. And I come in right here, and I just want a little bit of color, or a little bit of tint in that. And it may not look like much, but when you get it, uh, get your final finishes on, like the men wax I'm talking about, then you can tell. And if you've seen any of my carvings, and uh, those that have seen my finished work, uh, they'll know what I'm talking about here. And then I'm going to go in and paint. I like to paint the bottom to seal it too with a little bit of paint. And then what we're going to do, we're going to go in and we're going to paint the uh, the beard and the fur on this. Oh, did I get, did I get it on the camera there? Mm, no, okay. should be all good. All right, I know it's it's, it's hard to see, but I just I, I really I didn't want a whole lot of color in there. Now I'm fixing to paint the uh, the white area, 
And I, I found out, and, and one, one thing uh, I always like to consider is uh, uh, if you've ever heard the statement, less is more, well, this is what I'm doing here. Less paint and you get more effect, I, I think. Uh, but, I mean, it's each two, you know, who, however you like your carving to look, you can paint it however you want. Now, the white, I do I do put a little bit more in because it's, it, uh, see the drops on there, but it had a lot of water in it anyway. And then that's one thing I would, I do water these paints down. This is folk art, you see. And winter white. And I, 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 I'll put drops of water in here to keep it work, keep it from drying up. And, and you want to you want to do that as you paint. All right, I'm gonna come in here, and I'm gonna uh, probably about right there, and I'm gonna mix that up. And then I'm going to come in and start painting all the white areas. Now, after this dries, I will possibly go over it and dry, by, dry brush the, put some highlights on the, on the hair and the uh, fur. And the, the beauty of sealing that, see, I, I had a drop of paint go in my eye there, and then I just took my finger and wiped it right out of there. All right, can you see that there, Peyton, the yep. white? I really like to see that grain in my wood show through. Then you have to turn it up like this sometimes to see the bottom. And you got you want uh, you want to have a quite a bit of lighting when you do this. Uh, I've got these ring lights on right now, and. Uh, that helps with the video and also it uh, uh, it, it it's enough light for me to paint to see the paint but uh, I really I really wanted to show you mostly how I mix my paint it's not so much the color and and, and what you put in it, it's just the, the mixture of it. And on this, uh, I could take a hair dryer and keep adding coats, and then eventually it's going to get thicker and thicker and darker and darker. Because uh, acrylics, it's a paint that as you, as you add a coat, it starts to uh, uh, darken itself. It just builds up. It's got to be all this all this area runs in together, and um, you need to look, turn it different different ways so you you you're sure you're not missing any bare spots. Right now, mine looks pretty good. Yeah. Now let's. I got to come up here and do the fur here. And we're possibly gonna uh, gonna go over a little bit more than twenty minutes. Is that? Can we do that, Peyton? Yep. You got about five left. Okay. All right. Well, we're good right now.
and you want to, uh, uh, after this, you can, uh, when it's dry, you can highlight it with, uh, with a dry brush effect. And those, if you don't know what dry brush is, you, you uh, take a tube paint, and uh, let me show you right here. Let me reach. This is a, a tube paint, and uh, I'll, I'll pull it out and put me a piece here, and then I'll put my brush in it, and I'll get out all the excess, and then I'll just run across the top of this thing, uh, across the ridges, and it, it highlights the high ridges. Now let's start on this coat area. I mean the fur on the coat. And I'll possibly do this one that way. And as you can see, there's not a whole lot of different paints in this. And, uh, uh, you know, you could go in and decorate the coat you know, with some holly or something of that nature, but I have done it on, on a few other of my uh, Santas. But on one of this, I'm, I'm really just trying to show you how I get it painted and how I mix my paint. And in this, on a small carbon like this, you, you generally want to use like a brush of that size. You don't want a bigger brush. It's almost like you're drawing in that that uh, paint. Okay. Now I'm going to work around. Uh, this part right here. And the only fur we got left was we got this uh, on, on the cuff and then on the, the top part of the boot. Can you see in that all right, Peyton? Mm -hmm. Okay. And a brush like this will reach down in those little divots and uh, get in, get in that, that paint in those divot areas. Now I'm going. To, while I'm here, I'm going to go ahead and paint these cuffs in. But the, the the whole deal is I was really just wanting to show you how I mix my paint. All right, there's that cuff. And uh, I, uh, when I do put the uh, men wax on, it 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 uh, it adds a little sheen after about three coats, and it also enhances the, your color a little bit more. It. Uh, and it also brings the wood grain out a little more also. All right, I got the cuffs in. Now I need to put them around here. <clears throat> and always make sure you, you don't have paint on your hands because it could get, uh, uh, you could get uh, paint all over, like white, you could get it on your red area and you don't want that to happen. And a little brush right there, like this will get get in get in them little areas that you want to be. And I'm just about 
finished painting here. Uh, I won't, I'm, I'm not going to do the dry brushing, but I did explain to you how. Okay, there's the white. Now, the only thing left I got left to do, I'm going to set this right here and clean my brush out, is I'm going to put a little bit of tint in the cheeks and the nose and the, around the bottom of those eyes to uh, just give him a rosy cheek. All right, so I'm going to take some of this bright red and I'm going to put it over here in another little tub and mix it real light. And then I'm going to take my brush and I'm going to work over, over my nose like that. And right in here, below that eye, and right here on the cheek. And right in here. Not a whole lot. But, that, um, now, it would be different if I had, if I had uh, the, the eyes open. I would have to go in and I would uh, uh, put my white in there and, and then I'd put my dark uh, pupil in. But, uh, guys, uh, uh, I'm going to do one more coat on this uh, burnt sienna. And uh, I'm going to come in right here. I take a larger brush and come in and add another little coat of that in here. But you can just keep adding to these to, to, to get your desired look. I know some of you may not like the real light finish. Uh, and look for more red and stuff but basically that's where I like it when I, I like to see you can still see the grain in the wood even th through the face and then the legs uh, you can even see it in the boots especially here in the back now guys uh, you can tell as you look at the, this one here that is uh, none painted of course it has been sealed but that's about all i'll do on that uh, for a small santa and once again he'll he'll brighten up and uh i wanted to say uh uh i hope you enjoyed this uh little uh carbon here and uh i want i want to say merry christmas to you and uh on the next youtube before christmas i am gonna uh 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 make a short video on some of my Santas that's on the uh, uh, my fireplace mantle. So with that, guys, until the next YouTube, we'll see you later. Bye.